Hey everybody, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Today, I am assembling one of our wooden flags and I wanted to share that with you. Not a really complicated process, but still there's a few steps. There's a little bit of an assembly process involved there and I just wanted to share that with you. So, here we go. Okay, so we've been doing a lot of cutting, sanding, burning, painting, getting ready to do this. We've got enough stuff here to do, I think maybe two or three flags. We're only gonna do one right now, but I wanna show you the assembly process. I'm gonna use my guide here just to make sure that I don't jack it up. But anyway, this just kind of reminds me of what I've got to do as far as colors and which thing goes where and how many and stuff like that. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of my end pieces and you can see it's painted on the surface and it's painted on the sides, which means this is going to go at either the top or the bottom of the flag. So we're going to start out with that at the top. That's going to go solid black all the way across. It's going to be an end piece. Now I'm going to have a natural and black and then a solid black, a natural and black. And a solid black. One more natural and black. One more solid black. There we go. Now I'm going to do a solid natural. Now we're going to put one of the blue ones. There we go. There's our thin blue line. Another natural. Another solid black. Another natural. Let's make sure here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now another black end piece to go down here and that's basically our flag now we're going to line everything up i'm going to flip it over line it all up put it all together and then we'll attach everything all right here we go Okay, I'm gonna use my clamp to hold everything together. It doesn't have to be, you know, like super duper secure. I just wanna make sure that nothing's moving around while we're attaching everything. I don't wanna glue everything up and then wind up having it warp because it can't breathe. So we want the pieces to be able to adjust all right that should be it all right now i'm going to use a spacer this is a three inch wide spacer put this here put one of our one buys there and that's where i'm going to secure this baby Now, frankly, that should be pretty secure. I released the clamps. It's not going anywhere. But, again, since this thing is going to be in different environments, different humidity levels, different temperature places, I want to put a screw into each one of these boards as well. All right, I'm just going to use a tiny eighth inch drill bit just enough to get me a pilot hole going because i don't want to split the wood when we put a screw into it okay i'm going to put some one inch wood screws in here that's just enough bite to grab into these cross pieces and make sure they don't go anywhere this is a little extra work, but this makes sure that when this thing goes up, it's not coming down on anybody's head. Just a little extra effort, doesn't hurt. All 
All righty. There we go. She is ready for me to star it up. And this baby will be ready to go. All right, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I know that was really simple, but I wanted to share that with you. Hey, if we can make some of these signs for you, let me know. We're making these things like crazy, but I would love to make one for you. Give me a shout. We'll hook you up. Thank you. Take care. See you later.